Hello everybody, this is a Lamley unboxing Hot Wheels 2022 US L2593 means US case N case That's where we're at Remember, we go by Mattel schedule, quote unquote I know there's been a lot of other cases opened up We go by Mattel schedule here in the US When it hits the distribution center here in the United States They send me the case And then I open it for you So you know that the N cases are hitting right now If I'm getting them And you may have already encountered the N case I know the N is fairly new too but uh, let's go ahead and see what is in the end case. I've watched some unboxings. Um, I tend to try and, I don't try and forget, but there's so much going on that I do forget. So I like being surprised about what I find in, the, uh, in each case. So let's open up this end case and see what cool stuff you might encounter, whether you buy them from a hobby store like A&J Toys or whether you find them in store. Let's get to it. And let's start with the Lotus Sport Esprit in yellow. Water Bomber, I think we've seen that one. I think. Um, big blister for a small model. And then the Velocita, which is kind of cool looking. I believe that's probably a recolor. Isn't that a super treasure hunt at one point? I don't remember. Altered Ego, been a long time since I've seen that one. Uh, looks good in the Hot Wheels Racing. Not a casting I'm particularly fond of, but works here. Oh, look, a Batmobile, that's a shocker. And it's purple. And how about this? This looks fantastic. Lucid air in white. Like the silver, like the white, even better. Nice and clean. I'll put that. Oh, we got to do a highlight pile, right? Can't forget that. So I'll put that over here. Oh, 47 Chevy Fleetline recolor of the Moon Eyes in black. That follows the standard tradition, I think, that they'll do. I mean, we'll see them recolors in a lot of different ways, but. Uh, this one in black. We'll uh, we'll do a Moon Eyes update. That looks fantastic. That is a highlight for sure. We've seen the Cyber Speeder, and we've seen the '69 Camaro convertible. I'm trying to remember what the regular hunt in here. I think the Audi is the super uh, custom '69 Chevy pickup. I think that's a recolor from the red one. Five Alarm. That might be a recolor too. Kind of looks cool in pink. And this is the Lightning Bug. New uh, casting. Good for the track. 62 Corvette Gasser, we saw that in the last case. The Lay and Lowrider, we saw that in the last case. 15 Dodge Challenger SR2 from Muscle Mania, that we haven't seen. It's a nice deco. Oh, highlights galore. Okay, see, now I remember. Koenigsegg Jamero, that I didn't pull in my M case, but I did find it in the store, and we've already featured that one, so we're good there. But here's two highlights 19, or, yeah, 1990 Acura NSX. Recolor from the blue version. Reuse rides, got that. And then how about the Pagani Zonda? Zonda R. This, they've been, they've been doing some cool Paganis. This is, uh, wow. This might be the one. The Zonda R is just a cool looking car and it's been really cool in miniature for those that have done it. And Hot Wheels appears to have nailed that one. I can't wait to open that up. So yeah, we got a couple of highlights right there for sure. So far, so good in this case. All right, there's another lightning bug. There's a Max Steel. Oh, wait. we I, I think this is the first time we're seeing this one. I previewed this one. Remember, I sneak peeked it when they sent the other models. Um, that Max Steel, that's really cool. So we now see that. That's a new casting for 2022. It's not an original, but um, we've already featured this one, and it fits. We've seen this color uh, debut for these kind of like modified, modernized hot rods. And I can't remember the names of the other ones, but that's kind of cool. I could see Orange Track die cast. Uh, doing a feature on this one along with the other ones. That's really his one of his uh, fortes is models like that. All right, and then there's another Lotus Esprit. Someone reach out to Orange Track Brad and tell him to do it. There's another Corvette Gas, a recolor of the Range Rover Classic. That's fantastic. And then recolor of the Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. Uh, I'll put the Range Rover here. The Borla Trail Boss is nice too. I'm sure there's some big fans of that one. Oh, Corvette C. 6R, that's from the then and now, right? The newer Corvette is the uh, is the new one, um, or is the now. This is the then in that uh, red, white, and blue, predominantly blue color. We'll put that over here, maybe put it with the now from the then. There's Ford Mustang. I think we've seen that, and the Aristorat was in the last one as well. I mentioned we hadn't seen the casting in a while, but this is one of those NFTs, and it was done for premium, which is kind of cool. So I don't think I mentioned that last time. 68 Mercury Cougar, nice to see that one. It's been a while. 
This is a casting that I have I have been collecting. Maybe I'll put it in the collection this time, but uh, I'm considering letting it go. I'll talk about that when I do the highlight video and add it to the collection, but I'll put it there. And of course, I'll highlight another one that we uh, did a sneak peek on. Speaking of, I have more sneak peeks. I'll do that soon. Um, they just sent them to me, all 2023, all early. They're not even, they don't, none of them have their decos on them. And there's a few here that you'll be really excited about. Nonetheless, Lotus Avija. I hope I'm saying that right in green. This is a really, really nice casting one that we featured, but we'll definitely put it in the highlight video. And then there's a storm, uh, snow stormer. Another lay in low rider, another Arista rat. And here is the Damachini Veloci recolor in kind of a maroon color, which is very nice. One of Dima's original, very Italian looking cars, which is cool. And we did get a regular treasure hunt and we got a good one. I, okay, now I remember. It's right there in the middle. There's another Max Steel, and there's the Drift Stub, but this is the regular treasure run. might be the best one of the year. The 98 Subaru Impreza 22 BSTI version. They picked a unique way to, to redo, because I mean, isn't, isn't, weren't all of the uh, 22 Bs in blue, I think, with gold rims? So this is a unique one. They've given it headlights. They've given it side deco, nothing on the back, but that's a great regular treasure hunt. Of course it is for us, right? Um, we'll have to, maybe we'll do a vote on the regulars this year, I don't know. But that's a really nice one. So we did get the regular, and that will go in the highlight pile, and then these two can go over here. Let's see what we got in the rest of this case. Oh, high light, high light, high light. There it is, Volvo 240 Drift Wagon, another one that uh, we previewed. I'm not going to point out, well, I probably will, because it's nice to see, you know, we saw them early, and now we get to see them when they show up. This one... I don't have I don't have my setting on my camera for set for close up, but if you look there in the glare, you'll see that there is actually deco on this car. You can see the 240. See that showing up? So they did the ghost deco. There's a ton going on. Yeah, I'll see it. I'll show it when I do um, the highlight video, but you can see there's a ton of deco there. I don't know if there's any on the hood. I don't think there is, but uh, I think there's a cool like I don't know. There's dogs in the back as well. I mean, that's fantastic, this Volvo wagon. Highlight for sure. We're piling up on the highlights. And then uh, Electro Silhouette and another uh, Batmobile. Oh, been a lot of Batmobiles. Speaking of Batmobiles, whew, look at that. Highlight, highlight, highlight. 84 Mustang SVO. In the last case, uh, this would have been the Super. And uh, what was it? Five spoke wheels on that one. And then let's check out these highlights. This TV series Batmobile is super cool. Love the color on this one. I'll probably have to put that in the highlight. It has kind of that classic uh, Batman purple. So this is a very unique color. Did any of you thought I pulled a Super? I didn't, but if I did have real riders, it would be the Super. And as a matter of fact, Mattel did send over the Super so you can see it. This one, got to know what you're looking for, right? 94 Audi Avant RS2 in black. This casting, um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I like this one. It's a Rio Asada casting. It's not marked as such, but uh, it's a Rio Asada casting. And I'm just in love with it. And I was in love with it last year. It was one of my favorites of the year. And it might have been my, did I vote it my favorite of the year? I think I might have. I'll have to go back and look. Um, but this black version with, the, with these rims is a perfect, perfect follow-up. I think it's going to go premium too. And I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to know that or supposed to say that. But I think it is, which will be cool. And then, yes, the super, the super Treasure Hunt is in that, what we call, like, maybe gunmetal Spectre Flame. And the Aero Style wheels. And I think the TH, TH is in the back. Right. See, I'm trying to do that in the glare. You can see it above the tail light there. So that is very cool. Highlight pile for sure. Put the Super to the side. Let's get on with this, right? Rescue Duty, Velocita. Supercharged, done as a funny car, kind of a modern funny car, kind of cool. We've seen the tuned Chevy Silverado, we've seen the 18 Camaro SS in green, we've also seen the recolor of the GMC Hummer EV. We've seen the twin, no, I don't know if we've seen the twin mill too, right? But there it is on the then and now. Supercharged and the GMC Hummer again. Toyota Super, we saw that from the last case. Here's a recolor of the Shelby Cobra 427. It was in what? Hot Wheels Racing Blue. Now it's in yellow. And there's the Camaro Convertible again. 
Oh, big air bell air in pink. That's a highlight for sure. Love that casting. I will add it to the collection no matter what. And look, there's a pair of dusty Volvo wagons. Two very different takes on the Volvo wagon, right? Very much stock with this one. And then the drift is a drift wagon. So kind of cool to see the, the spectrum of, uh, of castings that we'll see from the Hot Wheels team. All right, speaking of cool wagons, there's another one. Maxima Drift Car is tremendous. We've already seen it, right? But uh, there it is again, still in the case. Low Lux and then a recolor of the Dodge Charger, which is nice. Bent card there. Donut Drifter, and there's a recolor of the BMW 9T Racer. I think that will be, that's in the new casting, right? So we'll, uh, we'll put that in the new casting pile. Although I don't know if I do. I think I kind of have this rule that the motorcycles I don't put in to the new casting pile, but I don't know. All right, Toyota Supra again, Koenig Ziggy Jumeirah again, and there's the Pagani. So we have two Paganis in this case. And finishing off, Cyber Speeder, another Lotus, another TV series Batmobile. And we will finish off with, oh look, another Batmobile. Uh, TV series Batmobile and the Lancia Delta Integrale from the last case as well. All right, highlights, we got a lot of them in this case. This one only because it's a new casting, but I'm not not big guy in the motorcycles, but to whatever. Bigger Bel Air, love it. Audi Avant, this is a major highlight for me because I just love that casting. Of course, if it's super, that'd be a, a big one. TV series Batmobile, excellent regular treasure hunt with the 22B. Um, got some cool recolors here. Let's pull all those. Or just like, you know, existing castings that we haven't seen. So the Mercury Cougar is a highlight for me at least. Corvette C6R, Range Rover Classic, Chevy Fleetline, and the Acura NSX, and then new models galore here. Lotus and the Drift Wagon, and then the Lucid Air and the Pagani Zonda. Man, which one do you pick of these three that have just debuted? Tell me in the comments if you had to pick one, Zonda, Drift Wagon, or Avisia. I have no idea. Thanks, everybody. That's a great one. That's a good, that's a good case, the end case. Go find it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.